What's pop, pop, popping? My, 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 Gemini. It is I. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again. Yes, indeed. To let you know what is going on for mid April. All right, the 15th through the 30th. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Hello, hello. How you doing? How you doing? All right. Um, if anyone wants to book a personal and private reading with Scorpion Red Tarot, you can do so by clicking that About tab. All right. There are three links on there. It is my booking, my Instagram, and my PayPal. You can use my PayPal for love offerings. Um, any money sent directly to the PayPal is a love offering. If you want to book a reading, you need to use the booking link that is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I simply book me again at a Scorpion Reds Tarot. I simply book me. After you book, I only do video um, readings. So you need to pick either Instagram or Google Hangouts for the video platform for us to connect to conduct a reading so my Instagram information is on that about tab as well and if you need my email for Google Hangouts it is uh, scorpionreds at gmail.com okay so again if this video resonates and you want to send a love offer and you can do so by clicking that PayPal information in on the about tab and you can find it as well in the description and thank you guys so much for sharing love and light I have three new decks that are coming in thank you guys for sending the one dollar two dollars five ten fifty whatever it is that your heart moves you to do um I have been taking that money and I've been pouring it back into the page so as you can see that this tower is growing and I have three new additional decks coming so you guys can look out for that and I'm not sure if I'm doing bonus readings this month it depends on how it depends on how much time I got and things like that but if you guys get selected for a bonus reading you guys may be the first one to use those twin flame cards okay so shout out to all of you guys and thank you again for all of the love and support let's get into it Gemini all right thank you so much father God for bringing us here in light in love and in high spirits for the sign of Gemini. Thank you so much for all the positivity and us keeping our heads high, regardless of what type of, you know, uh, issues may arise. We've been trying our best, you know, to move forward towards success, towards success and just, you know, we're going to be good regardless. That's all I know. That's all I know. And that's all I know. So, Father God, please give us guidance for the sign in Gemini. Um, please keep us with our head held high. Keep, please keep us elevated in love and light. Most importantly, self-love. That's like what is the core of what I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling something deep in my stomach. It's just like needing to like inhale you know what i'm saying like an inhale you know of just like love and positive vibration so it could just reach us to the core and it could just like illuminate and just just seep through every aspect of every crack and crevice of our body we just want to inhale that self-love and positive vibration so it could just touch every fiber of our body father god so thank you so much for all of the illumination thank you so much for the light that you've been sharing and that you've been shedding upon us father god and thank you so much for allowing us to inhale love light and positivity and blessings and success father god thank you so much please give us guidance for mid-month april for the sign of gemini for the 15th through the 30th thank you again all right so let's see what we got popping for my gemini my 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 Gemini, what you been into, boo? What's been going on with you? I just seen expansion. Let's see. Expansion, I just seen balance and freedom. <laughs> okay. Expansion, balance, and freedom. <laughs> Prosperity, come on. Come on. It says a gift of money is on its way. Come. Gemini, can I get five dollars? Oh my girl, girl, prosperity, Gemini, come on, girl. But you about to get your tax money, girlfriend? God, no, this ain't no tax money. This ain't no tax money. These some fax money. This ain't no tax money. This some fax money. <laughs> why did I just say that? Why did I just say that, Gemini? Why did I just say that this is some fax money? Y'all know why I say that. I don't know why I said that. Y'all know why I said that. It says a gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. Come on, Gemini. Y'all about to have some facts money come through? Hold on. Hashtag facts. Okay, come on. Prosperity and deliverance. Prosperity and deliverance. Have we been delivered? 
We've been delivered. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I've been delivered. <laughs> what the fuck? Let me buy $5, uh, Gemini. Okay. Gemini. My, 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 Gemini. What's going on, girl? What's going on in your world, girl? Prosperity. Expansion and freedom. Okay. Love begins. It ain't beginning today. You be saying this. It ain't going to begin today. <laughs> not today. Okay. Awareness. Oh, someone is not aware. Ain't, ain't no love about to be popping off until someone comes to a place of awareness. Okay. One, one, plus two. That equals four, honey. That foundation is off. Okay. One, one, plus two. That equals four. That foundation is off. Gemini done stepped into a place of order. They done became the manager, okay? Because they said, I'm the reliable one here, okay? All right? I'm the reliable one here, okay? So, <laughs> huh, huh. Huh. I need something that is predictable. I need something that is sturdy. I need someone that's going to put that hard work in, honey. All right? And since you ain't going to do it, let me be the problem solver. Okay? Let me be the problem solver because I need a reliable foundation, bitch. And I can't begin no love with you, motherfucker. You ain't aware. And you trying to have me all ungrounded and shit. Trying to have my cycle chakras off and shit, motherfucker. I wish you would. Okay? Okay? Gemini, look, they head spin around like Beetlejuice. Look, y'all must ain't know. Wisdom. They using their wisdom right now. They going through a goddamn change in the conflict. And they using their wisdom, okay? And they say, hold up, bitch. Hold up, bitch. I don't know if I'm going to be able to adapt to this. I ain't, this, this shit ain't balanced enough for me, motherfucker. Okay? Where, what's that mean with that little boy? He's like, motherfucker. <laughs> Is that what the little boy saying? That's all I can hear in my head. Motherfucker. <laughs> She said, listen, I'm going to leave this home environment. I, I really do feel like um, Gemini is leaving like a home environment searching for wisdom. I feel like they're leaving somebody. They're leaving something behind and search for wisdom. Because, motherfucker, you got me on balance. Okay? What? I'm looking for spiritual strength right now. Something, listen, something done got goddamn um, Gemini out the way. Some done got Gemini out the way, and they done got all the way the fuck out the way, okay? Gemini, what the hell done happened, honey? You done said, listen, I'm taking my heart back. I'm snatching the cat back. This motherfucker don't see what they got in front of him. I'm snatching the cat back, bitch, okay? You said, uh-uh. This motherfucker is unaware what the fuck I done get, what they got in front of them. They must don't know. They must don't know. But I'm about to glow. I'm about to show them. What? You would listen, love ain't got to begin here. As quick as it began, it can't end. You must don't know, Gemini. Okay, because once you get me all off, okay? Because this is someone in the upright. This is someone where all of that chakra uh, uh, aligns and imbalanced. All of that good positivity is, 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 is running and circulating on a high frequency all the way through their body. They know exactly what the fuck they're doing. And they know exactly who the fuck they is and who they are. They a superstar. But someone don't know who they is or who they are and is a superstar. And um, Gemini know that, but whoever they're fucking with don't must don't know that. Know okay? why? And Gemini say, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Bitch, you ain't got to be aware. You ain't got to be aware. Because I don't care. Because I could go over here. And I could go search for me some wisdom. I could leave your ass right where you stand, bitch. Okay? Okay, you must don't know about Gemini. My, 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 Gemini. Why do you think Red say that shit? Because they Red's always trying to figure out what the fuck we up into. Okay? There's one minute we feel like a nut. Sometimes we don't. Um, and Joy's got nuts. Mounds don't, bitch. I want a motherfucking mound, bitch. I don't want your nutty motherfucking ass, bitch. You want balanced. Okay? You want balanced and you making me unbalanced and shit. And five is representative of change. Okay? Change and challenges. Someone finding freedom, travel, adaptability, being quick-witted. Okay? So, goddamn... Uh, 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 Gemini got quick with it, okay? Not quick with it, ha <laughs> ha, in their mind. They got quick with it. They got the fuck up out there, okay? I think Gemini started getting to, that they realized this motherfucker must not be aware what the fuck is going on here. Why this motherfucker acting like shit ain't going on is what's going on? This motherfucker just floating around through life like ain't no changes going around. Like, what? Oh, oh, hold on. Like, cause they're, they're, listen, 
two and two equals four okay that's foundations five is there was a change to their foundation you see what i'm saying there had to be a rearrangement of the order there had to be a rearrangement of you know certain things that was predictable changed you see what i'm saying so there was something because uh, this these these three are upside down you see what i'm saying so there was a change in the foundation of that home foundation that they needed to adapt to that they need to quickly adapt to number four also represents someone becoming a problem solver order management reliability you know predictability so even though there was a change you know that didn't mean anything it didn't mean that there had to be i feel like whatever the change into the foundation it took a toll on the environment where it closed off someone's heart chakra and i all these dark cards i feel, all these dark cards i feel like there's a whole bunch of darkness um, there's a whole bunch of darkness right now because Gemini is dealing with someone that is clearly acting like they're unaware of the changes that's going on with their foundations. And Gemini quickly look, say, look, you might not have to change, but I got to change. And if I got to leave this foundation behind to use my wisdom to go forward and, and do what the fuck I know is right for me, then I'm going to have to do that shit. Because at the end of the day, I, just because you don't want to be quick with it. Quick with it in your mind, but just quick with it. You see what I'm saying? If you don't want to be quick with it and adapt and change and, you know, travel and move forward with these changes that's going on in our life and these challenges, like, I can't fuck with you because you're not showing me that you're able to adapt your wisdom. Like, like you see how this, this book is illuminated? Something was illuminated to Gemini where they got quick with it, quick with it, and got quick witted quick with it and got quick with it and they woke the fuck up and they said hold on you see they walking away because their wisdom something 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 inside of them woke the fuck up because they realized that they were not balanced and they're in a lot of darkness right now and listen they're looking for spiritual growth spiritual strength and spiritual growth along this journey and them whatever the fuck it is that they're going through it opened them it opened them spiritually you know what I'm saying? That that isn't that a nine. That nine that is like initiation, initiation of a ending or you know what I'm saying? That's like the start of a big, you know, change. Like you, it, it's initiating your ambition. You know what I'm saying? Like a big change or a chapter change or a chapter beginning or a chapter ending. You know what I'm saying? That you need spiritual growth for that. And that's and, 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 and that's why I really do feel like Gemini may be walking away from something that is keeping their fucking foundation unbalanced. It's not equal. It's not equal. And they they've closed their heart out, everything like that. But them doing this is going to move them into prosperity. A gift of money is on the way. Your income is increasing. You once you move away from this situation, if you know your wisdom is your intuition got kicked in the full goddamn gear right now you're very ambitious and you're 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 working towards change and moving with the flow of the universe and you don't have no time to be fucking around with someone that's sitting there looking stuck on stupid that ain't aware and acting like they don't see the shit that's coming that's coming you know what i'm saying father god please give me some additional guidance for gemini okay just gonna fall on the floor okay the star man, the star man, listen, this is about personal, personal growth, personal choices, you know, you being smart, you, God is giving you the key to a new life, to a brand new environment, and he's also giving you the tool to destruction. Do you want the key? Do you want to use the key to a new beginning? Or do you want to use the tool to destruction? It's up to you. Like, it's all up to you. We all have free will. You know? We all have free will. The five of cups. You can sit there and cry about spilled milk. And, you know, it might have been a third party situation. You know? There's three cups spilled over there. And there's two in front of you that you're not even looking. It's just two in front of you that are... That you are not even looking at because you're too busy 
mourning a love lost or a failed love situation. I know someone broke your heart, but you don't have time to worry about that. Things are changing in your life. Your foundation is changing. You see what I'm saying? You don't have time to sit back and lick your wounds and worry about spilled milk. You have two responsibilities in front of you that you have to focus on at the moment. There is no time for that. That's why God is telling you, you have the free will. We go, I'm going to give you the key to success, prosperity, and abundance. And I'm going to give you the tool of destruction. It's up to you. Either you're going to sit here and you're going to mourn and you're going to cry over some, some shit that was spilled over that. Look, everything happens for a divine reason. Okay? Nine of Cups. This shit was something that was unfulfilling to you anyway. You know that it was unfulfilling. You know? That's like one of them candies that when you look at it in the window, when you walk past the store, it look real good. You walk into the, the, the bakery, it smell good, all of that shit. You don't spend fucking $10 on a donut. And you ain't never in your life spent $10 on a donut. You like, this better be a good ass motherfucker donut. And then you get out of the bakery, you walk all the way home and shit. All the way you walk in the donut smelling good. Everybody like, ooh, what you got in that bag? What you got in that bag? You like, ha ha. You ain't know where the fuck I got this from. You don't know where the fuck I got this from. Get all the way home, take the donut out of the bag, bite into the shit. The shit dry. It's not, you know, like, you know how you go to 7 Eleven? Them donuts are 7 Eleven is good as shit, ain't they? You just spent $10 on a donut. And this motherfucker ain't nowhere near the, the donut that you begin for a dollar and a couple cents. You was better off just going to fucking 7-Eleven. And you done, you felt, you, 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 <laughs> you fell into the hype of the situation. Only, you know what I'm saying? Someone gave you a situation and placed something before you where it, it seemed like something that was very fulfilling was nine of cups. And you were promised like that ten of cup experience, the true happiness, fulfillment, and just everything and you really thought that you was getting it was bullshit it was bullshit and now you unhappy with this ten dollar donut that you don't purchase and you don't even want to take a second bite you don't even want to take a second bite and now you mad as shit officer queen of wands shit like i really do feel like a almost angry kind of ruthless energy almost you know what i'm saying like you guys are angered to the point that you almost ready to fight because it's like, I listen, I feel like you had free will in this situation and clearly you might have picked the wrong, you, you, you choose the wrong hand. You choose the wrong hand because right now you're crying over, over love loss. Something and you're, and you're very unfulfilled. You're very unfulfilled. And not only are you unfulfilled, you're bitchy, very quick tempered. Anyone, anyone can say anything to you that can easily anger you. I feel like you are thinking of ways to get back at this person um, because you're, you're hurt. Like you're hurt. You're hurt. And I feel like. You don't want to compete no more. You don't want to compete. You're tired of having to fight and battle and compete with people, you know, for a false promise of a new beginning that never happened. You know, someone really bamboozled you. They bamboozled you, yes. You feel like you were cons and that this person... You were fighting a losing battle from the beginning, but this person tricked you and misled you and made you believe that this was something that you could be successful in or whatever. And whole time, this person was literally just feeding you lies or whatever it is that they felt that you needed to hear so that you could sleep at night, you know, and so that they can get whatever the fuck they wanted to. But at the end of the day, this person... This person is like willing to do whatever the fuck that they need to do by any means necessary to win by any means necessary because of something that they had to gain from this situation. And you thought that you were going to have a new prosperous beginning with this person and it was all a lie for this person. It was a facade for this person to gain what they wanted to gain from you. You see what I'm saying? This person it was was is very masterful at their trickery and... You thought that there was going to be a beginning here. 
and you only ended up competing for something that was promised to you, you know? Almost like you you almost felt like you were in a battle or fight for your life. Not only not only physically, but like you were in a physical battle and you in a mental battle. So I want to say that you could have even had to fight some bitches. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe just like uh, uh like maybe just fighting online or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But you you've had to have altercations with motherfuckers. It was a competition that led to nothing. That led to fucking nothing. And now you're in a crossroads, Gemini. You're in a crossroads because it's like a lot of passion still lies here. But for some reason, I think you know that this, this situation is not the best for you. This situation is not the best for you. This is the princess of, of pentacles. As you can see, she's pregnant. You see her belly? You see how she's holding her belly? She's pregnant. There's something growing inside of you right now. You don't have the fucking time to be sitting there fighting with no bitches and competing for something that you feel like you shouldn't have to compete for. You're pregnant by this person and you shouldn't even be put in this situation. But you were given the tools to a new beginning and the tools to destruction. And I want to say that you guys... Had the chance to choose before you got in too deep with this person. Something in me tells me that y'all knew damn well what the fuck y'all was getting yourself into. Y'all knew what y'all was getting yourself into. Because this judgment here is in the reverse. Okay? Y'all knew damn well what y'all was getting yourself into. And it was a lack of fucking judgment. You knew damn well this person that you were laying down with. You knew it. This was bad judgment on your part. This spread started out with you having a tool to a new beginning and prosperity and good decisions and in a, in a tool to destruction. All right. So whatever this person did to you, you know what I'm saying? And I, I feel like I said, and, and with this top spread up here, you don't have to block your heart. Or from someone that's not aware. This person, y'all foundation has changed. You're about to have a baby. You're about to have a baby. You have to focus on your wisdom and what's been illuminated to you. This motherfucker's not balanced. And it's prosperity means y'all might be about to get some child support or something. You know what I'm saying? So a gift of money is on its way. You know what I'm saying? So whatever money this motherfucker been working for, you damn sure about to get it because you you pregnant. You're not about to win. You're not about to. This person not about to win and just walk away from this situation and think that they're going to leave you with a baby and you and they ain't going to pay for this shit. No, 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 no. Princess of Pentacles. She not about to have that shit. She's not about to have that shit. It was like a judgment on her part, but that doesn't mean that she has to sit there and take care of a baby on her fucking own. And even if it does mean that she gonna have to take care of the baby physically on her own, financially she not gonna do it. Prosperity, the gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. So whatever money you about to start receiving, make sure that you spend it wisely and put it towards your child. Because I, I you know, I don't feel like the person that you had having this baby with is responsible. I really do feel like this person is very off balance, and you know deep in your heart that you're gonna have to do this by yourself. Because that lack of judgment card was right there. Stop fucking whining. No one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change your world. So do it. Stop fucking whining. You knew exactly what the fuck you was doing. You knew what you got yourself into. You wanted this. Okay. Oh, keep a nigga, baby. I'm sorry. If y'all feel some type of way, unsubscribe. Stop fucking whining. If y'all want to figure out why I'm saying that, go back and listen to Gemini from oh six, uh, from six, uh, uh, I'm about to say from sixteen, <laughs> from sixteen. Shit, maybe you've been fucking around with this person since 2016 or something. I don't know, but they broke your heart. Stop sleeping so damn much. They broke your heart. Fuck them. Stop sleeping. I feel, I feel like a lot of y'all just been sleeping and y'all just been. Y'all hearts broken and y'all just been laying around. Y'all been whining about the situation that's been going on. And y'all been sleeping a lot. Wake up. You're missing out on some cool shit. You're, left, you're letting your life pass you by. Worried about this person. Okay? 
worried about this person. You need to worry about yourself and put the fucking phone down, okay? Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. I feel like you guys have been searching. Y'all been doing a lot of looking on your phone. Trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. I feel like a lot of Geminis have been doing a lot of online investigation trying to figure out what's going on with somebody. You know what I'm saying? And y'all need to put the fucking phone down and y'all just need to stop. Stop stop entertaining that shit. That's what's keeping you off balance. Stop entertaining that shit. You have a baby growing inside of you. You entertaining all this conflict and this arguing, fussing, and fighting, and debating, and this drama and shit. You feeding all that shit into your baby. If you do not separate yourself from this bullshit and stop having this lack of fucking judgment, why are you entertaining this shit? You have a baby in your stomach. And all of that drama and all that bullshit is being fed to your baby. You better think wisely. And like you said, you closing your heart off to this person. You know that this person isn't aware. Okay? Your sexual chakra is off. You trying to use your wisdom because... This person is not aware and not balanced. And this person is making you not aware and not balanced. But you don't woke the fuck up because that, listen, this change, this conflict is right here. This challenge is right here. You want freedom. You ready to travel. You have to adapt regardless of what this motherfucker got to do. That's why you're looking for that spiritual grounding. Put the fucking phone down. They broke your heart. Fuck them. Stop sleeping and stressing and stop whining about this shit. It's time to move. Okay? Your words linger in my mind. Oh, do it. Okay? My heart is telling me to just do it. Okay? Alright? So somebody must have been listening. Okay? Your words are lingering. Whose words is lingering? My words? Whose words is lingering? God's words? Whose words is lingering? Because I don't think it's his. I don't know whose words is lingering. I don't think it's whoever, whoever this man or woman that's doing this shit to Gemini is not their words. Somebody else's words is lingering. Okay? They done got some words from somebody. And their heart is telling them to just do it. They know that they're getting good advice. They know that this whoever this person that they're getting this advice from, it says no other compares to you. Okay? So, listen, I'm just going to leave that there. You got to love yourself, Gemini. Don't compare yourself to fucking nobody. That's the problem. Don't compare your motherfucking self to nobody. And don't let nobody compare you to no motherfucking body. And as soon as you feel like someone is comparing you and doing all that bullshit, you need to exit stage motherfucking left. I am the original Don Dada. I don't chase, I don't replace, I don't run after no motherfucking body. You hear me, Gemini? It's time to boss the fuck up. Boss up. You got a baby growing in you. It is time for you to wake the fuck up. You knew what the fuck you was laying down next to. That was a bad judgment call on your decision. You ain't got time for this shit. Gemini, I love you. You understand what I'm saying? I want you to do the best thing for you. And I want you to do the best thing for your child. The more and more you are surrounding yourself around this toxicity, you are feeding that negative energy into your baby. You don't want no baby coming out colic. Love yourself enough. Do you understand? All right? Your words linger in my mind. Oh, do that. My heart is telling me to do it. So do it. No one compares to you. You shouldn't be comparing yourself, period. Anyone who put you up for comparisons, they're a fucking loser. Fuck them. Like they said, they broke your heart. Fuck them. You hear me, Gemini? Fuck them. We ain't doing that fuck shit around here. We ain't doing no fuck shit around here. Please clarify this spread for Gemini. Thank you so much, for no, because we ain't about to play this shit. Gemini, I got your back, baby. And we walking right into prosperity. Don't let no motherfucking body impregnate you. Play with your motherfucking mind. Use you. Because they were trying to motherfucker come up off some shit. Because that five of motherfucker swore that was someone that knew off the motherfucking break. It was a plot and plan in a motherfucking game from beginning. They had a particular use for you. It was a losing battle for you, period. The five of coins. This person left you out in the cold. Okay? 
This is someone that is abandoned. This is someone that is begging for someone to let them in. This is, listen, this is someone who's, who's lost a great deal of time, a great deal of energy to be shut out in the cold by somebody. You understand? Don't beg this motherfucker to let you back in for fucking what? They needed something to fuck from you, Gemini. Fuck this bitch. King of Swords. Uh-huh. You better watch your motherfucking ass. Because you see this motherfucker. This motherfucker will take that baby. Because this motherfucker don't want to pay you nothing. You hear me? This motherfucker don't want to give you no fucking coin. You better pay attention, Gemini. This motherfucker is like, I'd rather take that baby and be a single father before I give you a dime of mine. This motherfucker has intentions of taking that baby and leaving your ass out in the motherfucking cold. Be wise, Gemini. And none of my fucking decks, other than this one, have I ever seen the King of Swords? The King of Swords, that's cutting somebody out. And holding the baby by himself? Y'all better wake the fuck up. Oh. Your words linger in my mind. Do you hear me now, Jared? Do you hear me? Oh, do you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Sprint. Can you hear me now? Oh, okay. You better wake the fuck up. You better stop sleeping. Ain't nobody saying? Stop sleeping so damn much. You better stop sleeping. You better stop lurking and paying attention to what the fuck this nigga doing and you better pay attention to what the fuck this nigga is doing behind your back. This motherfucker <laughs> they're planning on cutting you the fuck out and taking that baby because this person don't want to give you no money. You see this? Five of Pentacles. This motherfucker going to cut you out and make you pay up and going to play single for... Gemini, prosperity is coming. A gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. You better get in front of this shit. You hear me, sweetie? You better get in front of this shit. This motherfucker know that <laughs> with that baby, you can laugh all the way to the motherfucker bank. You don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck about what this, this motherfucker want to do right by you, but not. You got this baby. You know you can take this man to court, and this and 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 and, 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 and that's a problem for this person. Oh, that's a problem. This person would rather cut you out and take that baby before they give you a dime of their fucking money. Let me be the one to tell you. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to tell you this shit. I'm telling you this shit because I want you to be a ass motherfucking thing, bitch. I right, listen, I'm a woman and I don't play that shit. I don't give a fuck. I don't play that shit. We all make bad decisions. Trust me. I'm a single mother too. Do you understand what I'm saying? I done had bad judgment. And had I known going into certain shit, I don't regret my kids. I love my kids. I would do it all over again to have my babies. But maybe not with the motherfucker I had the baby with because I'm doing it by myself. Don't know woman, don't know child. I don't give a fuck how young you are. You understand what I'm saying? You were young and you just had bad judgment. That's all it is. You were, you were, you were, you were, you got swindled by a fucking pimp. That's it. This motherfucker got this game doing this shit locked. This motherfucker been doing this shit for years. And that's why people like that, they prey on little young girls because they, they, they know that they smarter than you. That's what this person think that they smarter than you. They're going to take your baby and make you pay for the baby. You better wake the fuck up. You better wake the fuck up. This motherfucker about to cut you out and take that motherfucking newborn baby. Bitch. Bitch. What is this? Conclusion. That was in the reverse. You need to come to a final conclusion. I feel like you, listen, you not using that key. Didn't I tell you up there? That you had the motherfucking key to success and new beginnings and happiness or the tool to motherfucking destruction. You are not using the key that God gave you. Because you're too busy crying over spilled milk and being unhappy. You see this? You're not using the key, baby. You ain't coming to conclusions about this shit. What's that? You need to use that key and go in a new direction. Alright? 
Use that can go into a new direction, baby. Please, please. I want you to. I don't want you feeding this negative shit into your to your baby. This person, listen. You were just amused, okay? It was something that was in your life that they wanted to use you to paint a perfect picture for how they wanted their life to be, okay? They wanted to mimic. They wanted your success to be their success. They ain't want to go and paint their own picture. They wanted to copy yours. You understand what I'm saying? So they just wanted to hang in the background and 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 and, and get the residuals from everything that you get. That that's all a cop a carbon copy is. It's a sheet of ink paper right behind it so you can have a copy. So whatever it is that you got, he this motherfucker was getting into. You were just amused, honey. You just came into this person's life to help them paint a perfect picture for what the fuck they needed their life to be. Okay? You need to come to conclusion about that and go in a new direction and stop letting motherfuckers paint their life with your success. There's a third party in your motherfucking goddamn relationship. And you know it. You know it, don't you? You know it. And this ain't your soulmate. And you know it. You know it. You know it. You know what, Gemini? What's this? This person has a mask on with you. This person always had a mask on with you. You met this motherfucker with a mask on. I told you that with that five of motherfucker swords. I told you that. You've been pimped. You've been played. You've been bamboozled. And if you don't watch your motherfucking ass, this nigga about to take your baby. And you gonna be paying this motherfucker child support. Because he about to play single father all the way to the motherfucking bank. Okay? You better let your pro. You better wake up. Stop sleeping. Please get fixated. You're fixated on this person, Gemini. You are fixated on this person, girl. And this person knows that. And that's how they taking advantage of you because you young and they older than you. And they using all of that shit. They about to put you right in the pocket, Gemini. You better wake the fuck up and you better get ahead of this goddamn situation and let that prosperity come to you. Because this is the fuck about to try to take your fucking baby, huh? And I know whoever the fuck is the cross watcher, whoever the baby father is, if they watching this, I know they mad as shit. They're like, how the fuck did that bitch know what the fuck I was about to do, bitch? Because it's what I do. It's what I do, bitch. You understand? It's what I do. This was a superficial ass goddamn relationship. This person had a mask on. And that's the thing you ain't trying to realize. This person was just using you. It was a superficial relationship. This person was just with you for what the fuck you had and what they could get out of you. What's this person walking up to you like a fucking scum with a mask on? Bitch, you got robbed. Lay down. You've been robbed. Player haters. Turn your head round. Turn your head round. Lay on the ground. You've been robbed. Bitch, you feeling pitiful right now. And I'm sorry I didn't mean to call you bitch. But I'm sorry you feel pitiful right now. And you're envious. Because this person compared you to other motherfucker people. And now, that's why you so fucking... Listen, if you better wake the fuck up. Wake the fuck up, young. You were feeding this shit to your baby. Wake the fuck up, Gemini. You were fixated on some bullshit. I don't broke my fucking crystal, bitch. Did I break my... I sure did break my fucking crystal, bitch. Listen, for real. Because I'm not even about to do this with y'all. I'm about to give y'all this last break and I'm getting the fuck up out of here. But who are you envious of, Gemini? Who is you envious of? The thing is, Gemini, is like, listen. You, you envious of the water sign? You envious of the mermaid? You envious of the skull? That's the death sign. <laughs> you envious of the water sign? Listen, let me tell you something, baby. You need to stop allowing fuck people, fuck niggas, fuck bitches that got a mask on and always you were, you, were, you were the third you were the third they are the third you, there always will be a third with this person, do you understand? Yeah. <laughs> cause only thing like my eyes like right above this envious is third party, you're the third ever, you're the third party and you got a baby or you're envious of the third party, do you see what I'm saying? That's not your soulmate. This person had a mask on. This person was just trying to paint a perfect picture with you. But you're not trying to see it. You need to choose a new direction. You're too fixated on a superficial ass relationship. You look a pitiful and you look an envious out here. Wake up. The 
the page of chalices. <laughs> and stalking. You stalking. Right now, you who? Oh God, Jesus, Gemini. I'm getting out of here after this one. Right now, Gemini, you've been stalking, trying to figure out who's making this person that you pregnant by happy. You trying to figure out who this person been sending messages to? You stalking, trying to figure out who the fuck is making this person that you're pregnant by happy. Stop it, Gemini. You blocking your prosperity. And you looking envious and you looking crazy out here. I need you to stop it. I need you to stop it, Gemini. I love you. I need you to love yourself. Okay? I want you to stop it. Like, I want you to stop it. I really want you to stop it. Um, Let me give you something. I, I got to give you something. Because, like, it's just like my heart. My heart. Because I just, I can't. I can't. Like, right now. Because you're pregnant. And I can't leave you like that. And right now, I'm upset, Gemini. Because it's like, you got prosperity coming to you. But it's like, you so fixated on this bullshit. It's like, you're going to miss it, Gemini. You're going to miss it. And that person is going to hurt you really bad if you don't wake up, Gemini. God, I feel like I'm about to cry. Like, why well, I feel like I'm about to cry. Like, God, I really feel like I'm about to cry. Like, Gemini, don't let this person do this to you you just die. Do you understand? Mm. Love. Love, okay? It's about self-love, Gemini. It is not about finding love. You are love itself. Help me love. Send so much compassion and caring to the inner child that always remember I myself in love. It's something that you are searching for. You are searching for love in other people. It's within yourself, baby. It's within yourself. You have a child growing in you. You have to love yourself right now. It's not the time. It's not the time. What is it saying? Impatience. My life is unfolding in divine time and all the delays are beneficial. I am always at the right place at the right time. But you're not recognizing that. You're not recognizing that. I feel like you're about to get away from this situation right in time so that you can get the prosperity that's that 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 you need in this situation. Like God is not gonna leave you. God is not gonna let you unless you let yourself you have free will, Gemini. If you want to keep stalking and, and worrying about shit and worrying about somebody that ain't worried about you, well, your whole foundation is changing. Everything is changing. You're having to adapt. You don't have time to focus on this. You understand what I'm saying? You impatient waiting for other people to change. It's not them that need to change. It's you. Everything is happening in the way that it's supposed to happen, Gemini. Do you understand? This person ain't going to be nothing but who the fuck he is or who she is. You have to change. Okay? And if this is not the Gemini woman that is pregnant, then this Gemini man is probably about to take that fucking baby. Because he is not about to just... Do you understand what I'm saying? Some man is like about to use their brain in a situation because they're older. They're wiser. They're older and they're wiser than this princess of fucking coins they're older and they're wiser and they're going to use their wit and their brain to maneuver themselves around this situation and this is a a, a a king of swords that is represented by the gemini so if you are a princess of of pentacles all right if you're earth sign if you're a taurus a taurus a virgo or a capricorn and you are pregnant by a gemini man he might jump ahead of the shit of you especially if he's older he might Go and file some papers and, 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 and say you're too young and that you, he's... Listen, listen. What is this saying? Abundance. Divine beloved, please show me how to feel fully deserving to receive. I release my ego's plan and open to being a vehicle for abundance. This is in the reverse too, okay? If you guys don't wake up, this prosperity and this abundance, it ain't going to come in together. You see what I'm saying? You got prosperity and abundance on the, on the table. You got to learn yourself. You got to love yourself. You understand? And stop being impatient and waiting for other people to change. You need to change and understand that everything is happening at divine time. And I love you, Gemini. I love yourself. I will see you guys in May. And we want to be in some better positive energy. And I can't wait for you to have that beautiful baby. I want you to focus your energy on that beautiful baby. That is the blessing. That is the prosperity that is coming into your life. If ain't nothing... Beautiful came out of that situation, baby. You grew up. 
And you walked into a state of wisdom and prosperity for you and this child. Don't let nobody come and fuck you over, Gemini. I love you. Peace.